A girl was sitting on the subway late one night, and she noticed that the woman sitting across from her was staring intently at her. The woman was sitting between two old men. The girl kept looking away, but the woman wouldn't break eye contact with her. The stare was beginning to freak the girl out. At the next stop, a new passenger got on. He was a tall man in a gray trench coat. He sat down next to the girl. The woman paid no attention to the man in the trench coat. She just kept staring at the girl, who was getting more and more creeped out as time went on. The two old men didn't even glance in her direction. She pretended not to notice. But each time she glanced at the strange woman, the stare continued. When the train was pulling into the next stop, the man in the trench coat got up to leave. Suddenly, he grabbed the girl's arm tightly, and as the doors opened, he dragged her off the train. The subway doors shut, and the train pulled off, leaving the girl alone on the platform with the man in the trench coat. She started screaming for help. Calm down, said the man. I just saved your life. I didn't mean to scare you, but I had to get you off that train. The woman sitting opposite to you was dead, and the two men beside her were propping her up. One morning, a man found himself walking along a deserted street in a small town. He had no idea what he was doing there, or how he got there in the first place, or where he had been earlier. He didn't even know what time it was. He saw a woman walking toward him and stopped her. I'm afraid I forgot my watch, he said with a polite smile. Can you please tell me the time? When the woman saw him, she screamed and ran away. The man was shocked. A few minutes later, he noticed that other people were afraid of him too. Whenever they saw him coming, they flattened themselves against a building, recoiled in horror, or ran across the street to stay out of his way. There must be something wrong with me, thought the man. I'd better go home as soon as possible. He hailed a taxi, but when the taxi driver laid eyes on him, he floored the accelerator and sped away. This is crazy, said the man to himself. He couldn't figure out what was wrong, and he had no idea what was going on. All he knew was that he was scared and confused. Maybe my wife can come pick me up, he thought. He found a telephone and called home, expecting to hear his wife's sweet voice. Instead, a strange voice answered. Is Mrs. Sullivan there? he asked. I'm sorry, she isn't, the voice said. Her husband died a few days ago in a horrible car crash, and she's attending his funeral.